Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a review of this baby right here. I think this is such a stunning bag. It is my first itsy ritzy bag. I've bought a lot of other stuff from their website, but I never owned a diaper bag. So I saw this one on the website and it was really masculine to me, which for some reason it just really, I, I don't know, I just, I leaned towards this one out of all the other ones. Um, but technically it's my first bag because I had bought the Aaron Williams bag. This is like such a weird story. So I bought the Aaron Williams bag. Right after that, my dad, um, we started going through like uh, cancer and all that kind of stuff. A lot, most of you know the story, but I lost my dad. My mom decided to sell the house right after he passed. We packed everything up. She lived with me. So since it took that bag so long to get shipped out, once we got it, it went into storage. So I literally just got that bag out of storage when I moved my mom into her house. So I have a brand new Erin Williams bag that I have that has never even been used or opened yet. So technically that was my first bag, but like using wise, this is the first bag, if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm, I'm so excited to review this bag for you guys. I've been using this bag for a couple weeks and I'm really happy with it, especially for the winter. It has a lot of room in here versus my Juju B, uh, Be Right Back. This has a lot more room for extra beanies, extra socks, all that good stuff you're gonna need in the winter. So I just wanna go over some of the features that this bag does have that I really like real quick and then we will get into how I'm packing it. So. Right off the bat, you, it's called the Triple Threat, and this is in the color Handsome Heather Gray. So you could use it in the nook of your arm as just a tote bag, like most bags. Um, you could also use it as a messenger crossbody bag um, with the strap right here. And it does come with a shoulder pad, which is really nice. And then also it comes with an extra one of these guys. That way you could clip it to this ring right here and this little ring down here and you can wear it as a backpack. So that's why it's called the triple threat. You could wear it three different ways and when you are wearing it as a backpack so these don't flop over and get in your way. I thought this feature was really, really cool. These just snap off and it, I just thought that was really them paying close attention to detail and I just really like the de the details of this. This is a really pretty gold. It's not like that loud, annoying gold. It's on the softer side. And it comes with a little tassel, which easily um, comes off so you can personalize it with your own charms if you don't love the tassel. And one of my favorite things about this bag is it comes with stroller clips. I feel like not all bags do that. And so I was so excited to see these on here because I wasn't expecting that. But also, one of my favorite features is the bag, The bottom of the bag is has these big rubber pads on it so your bag doesn't get dirty or wet. And you could just wipe the rubber clean. And I thought that was really cool. It has two insulated pockets on the sides, and I was actually really, really impressed with the insulated pockets on this bag. It's a lot better, in my opinion, than the Jujubee, and I'm a diehard Jujubee girl, but, I mean, they are really thick, and they you can see that they are completely lined with that really nice insulated material. Starting on the outside of the bag, it has these two little pockets with magnetic closures in one of the bag. In one of the pockets, I just like to keep wet ones, and my honest hand sanitizer and that is all I keep in there. I like a pocket designated to that because I know exactly where to go. I'm a little bit of a germ freak. I like to wipe down the table before we eat. I like to wipe down his toys. Um, I reach for the hand sanitizer quite often so I just like to know where it's at. And then this is going to be my designated mommy pocket. I'm really surprised that all my stuff fits in here because Usually for the mommy pocket on my Jujubee Be Right Back, it, it's a really good size, but then also you tend to overpack it. So the good thing about this is it honestly carries exactly what I need. I could get to it quick and I'm not overpacking it. When I transferred all the stuff in my Jujubee to the Itsy, I, <laughs> my mommy pocket was just, it, it was uncalled for. Like I had eight lipsticks and lip glosses in there. Like that's just not necessary. So I do like this. I have um, my glasses and my little contacts in here, which I don't need both, but I just transferred everything over. I have a couple girl products. I have my Itsy Ritzy Ambassador cards. Um, 
I have a Marc Jacobs lip gloss and my Perfectly Posh Perk Stick. And then I just have a little mirror. So everything that I am going to need to reach for during the day, it's all in there. I don't need anything more and anything less. So that's what we have in the front. And it just closes really nice. Moving on to the inside of the bag, I'm going to show you guys how I have it packed, and then um, and then we will get into all the pockets and stuff. But this is what the inside of the bag looks like. I think it is basically, there's a spot for everything. This bag has 13 pockets, I believe. 13 or 14 pockets, I believe. Um, and it just has a spot for everything. I like everything to have a spot. That's how I am with my diaper bags, and the fact that this is already like organized inside is a huge plus for me so moving on to the inside of the bag I thought um, this view was a little bit better so you guys could see um, right here there's a, a magnetic snap closure pocket right here and all I keep in there is the changing pad that comes with it which is a really amazing changing pad so it is marked toes where your baby's toes goes and head where your baby's head goes you guys I thought this was such a good idea because I never thought about it until I asked myself why would they say head and toes but you're always setting your baby's head here versus opening oh, his shoes here one day and then the next day you're putting his head his head there so I don't know I thought that was really cute and um, again I just thought itsy ritzy paid attention to every detail that they possibly could have and I couldn't be more happy with this bag. Um, moving on, right after that pocket, there are two really good sized pockets right here. I have two diapers in here because we were just at my mom's and we used one, but usually I carry about three or four and they fit great in here. And then in the next pocket over, I just have my Honest Wipes in there in my little hard case. Then there are two side pockets, two netted pockets on each side. On one of them, I just carry my little Arm & Hammer guy in case he has a stinky diaper and we are at somebody's house. I will never put that in their diaper, in their um, garbage can. So I wrap it in one of these and just stick it back in my bag and it works. they work really great. And then I have my little doTERRA pouch full of my oils. And then I just have my little ouch pouch full of Neosporin, antibacterial wipes, band-aids, gauze, the good stuff. The other netted pouch on the side is empty. And moving on to the other side, I have, I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see that side a little better. But moving on to that side, I carry my charging bank in one of the three pockets. There's one, two, three and then the cords, so that fits perfectly in there. This little pocket, I don't have anything in here right now, and then my phone, my iPhone 8 Plus fits perfect in um, this side pocket right here. And then there is a zipper pocket right on the back here, but this is Sawyer's pocket. I'm, we're working on him knowing exactly where his pocket is. That way, if he needs anything, I just tell him, get in your pocket. I just have some play packs that I like to grab from the dollar store. These these are lifesaver. <laughs> um, and then I just have our little ouch pouch. I've had this forever. It's just it has a couple of his little toys in there, and then we have some stickers for him. And then lastly, in that pouch, I have a itsy ritzy snap happens. And I how cute is this little XOXO print? And all we have in there are snacks. I just carry some gummies, some raisins. He loves raisins. I'm not about it. And then I just have some Quaker little peanut butter sandwich things. And then in the middle of the bag, I have a medium jujube set piece. And this is just my medicine bag. Um, I have Motrin, Advil. I have some baby wash in case we get stuck somewhere, and then I just have a little thing of draft. So this is just my little medicine slash, I don't know, if we get stuck somewhere pout. Um, but yeah, so that fits really well, and there's tons of room left in here, you guys. Like, 
I mean, I could fit alf spare outfits in here. I had a large jujube set piece with an outfit, an extra hat, extra socks. That's usually what I keep in here. But like I said, I was just at my mom's. But that fit just right, perfectly right on top. So that is everything inside of my itsy ritzy. Okay, you guys. So that is how I like to pack my itsy ritzy triple threat diaper bag. I'm so incredibly impressed with this bag. They really paid attention to detail on everything, on design-wise, on looks, on the inside. I just, I knew it was going to be a cute bag. I just didn't know how good quality it was going to be because the price point is so good. But I definitely think you guys should check this bag out. I have a code. If you want it, I will link it down below. If not, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm so impressed with this bag. I can't wait to get more bags by them and also re review some of the other ones that I got. And I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what is going on in the next videos, then please subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.